Hello, this is Renee and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a collective reading for the next 48 hours. What's going on for the next 48 hours for the collective? Start out with some oracle cards. <clears throat> and forgive my voice. <clears throat> Prayers and wishes. So something that you've been hoping for, something that you've been wishing for is coming through. Your prayers and wishes are being answered in the next 48 hours. Something that you're really anticipating on coming. Yes, affirmation for positive change. So yeah, your situation is coming to a change. Whatever you're going through is coming to a head. And uh, at the bottom, you have meditation for creativity. So your creativity could be blooming at the moment. Uh, something's coming through for your creative natures. Okay. What's coming through for the collective in the next 48 hours? What's coming through for the collective next 48 hours, please? Okay, we've got two. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're going through something. You don't want to deal with something. You don't want to take care of it today. Um, it could be that you have someone in your life who you're trying to avoid a conversation with. Um... You don't really want to accept their cause. You want to set your bound boundaries. And it looks like you're still angry about something. You don't want to talk to this person today. And it could be that this person is being too obsessive. Maybe they're being codependent. They're relying on you too much. They're trying to control the situation. Um, but I feel like you're just you're just not in the mood to deal with it today. However, I do feel like there's going to be a sudden change. You're going to receive some kind of news that's going to be a total surprise. It's going to be an epiphany. Um, and that could have to deal with your prayers and wishes being answered. Uh, this positive change that's coming through. So, yes, have faith, collective. Something good is coming out of this situation. Now, what do we have as far as the tarot? What do we have for the collective for the next 48 hours, please? What do we have for the collective? Okay. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands and the Tower. So definitely, there's going to be some kind of change after you being very overwhelmed. Um, I feel like you're carrying a lot. You're holding up the... You're holding up the... You're holding faith. But I feel like whatever this is, it's going to bring some kind of change. You're going to receive some kind of news that is really going to change your perspective on things. Uh, this may also free you from a situation. Yes, because you have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the... <clears throat> This is the positive change that's coming through, the Ten of Pentacles. So you're feeling burdened. You're feeling overwhelmed. You're feeling bogged down just by life itself. Uh, you may be carrying a lot of load. You're dealing with a lot of different attitudes, personalities, um, maybe with the people around you. Um, but I feel like there's going to be some kind of drastic change that's going to really bring good things. This is your blessing in disguise, this tower. This is your freedom from whatever it is that you're going through. Um, so I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles, this is going to be a happy outcome. This also may be money coming in that you're needing at the moment. 
you're looking forward to this and you had no idea it was coming. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we have the Six of Cups. So this could be, this could be help coming in from maybe a family member that you weren't expecting. Um, this is some kind of gift that's given to you that's going to help you a great deal. This is really going to um, make some kind of change in your life. A positive change. You're going to have a positive outlook. And definitely, okay, there may be new love coming in. Um, if this isn't a new love, I feel that whatever it is that you were conflicted with is being reignited. So, yes. New love coming in for the collective. This may be your soulmate. And the world. Definitely. I feel like you're learning a lot of lessons from these. Um, I, I feel like the tower moment is creating some kind of um, epiphany for you. You've learned a lot of lessons while these things have come to an end, while you're going into a new cycle now with the tower and the ten of pentacles. I feel like you you gain the knowledge that you needed to gain. This may also be you starting this new cycle after a lot of difficulty in love. This may be exactly what you need. But you also have the Nine of Cups as well. So I feel like, yes, this is definitely your prayers and wishes being answered. Um, this is whatever you were needing at the time really coming through for you. So in the next 48 hours, I feel like what, you're, what you need most is actually coming through for you. Very interesting. Okay, we have the King of Wands. So this love may be a wand. He may be a fire sign. He may be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries um, coming through for you. But I feel like this new love interest is going to be very fiery. It's going to be very passionate. Um, <laughs> I feel like he is very attractive. Uh, when I see this person, I see someone with um, I, I see someone with caramel skin. Hmm. And dark eyes. Wow. Okay. We have the Two of Pentacles, so I feel like this situation is going to give you balance. It is going to... Um, make you realize that you have options in this situation. I don't see there's more than one people, but I see that you're weighing your options. Um, I see that you're kind of tipping the scale. So maybe you're really thinking about if this person is going to measure up to your expectations. I think you're measuring them up. Hmm. What do we have for the next 48 hours? The devil. This may be a Capricorn that's coming in. This may be someone who has a dark complexion. Someone who is... Um, very down to earth. I also feel like this could be this codependent situation coming through this could also be addiction or some kind of controlling situation um, but I don't feel like it is I feel like this you may be blocking this person you may be blocking this person they may not fit up to your expectations but I feel like you're being really really picky in this situation 
Yeah, you have the Ten of Cups at the bottom. So I feel like this situation can be a happy situation. I feel like this may be your happy ever after situation. So I feel like you're just very insecure in this. You're very... Um, you're setting up really high boundaries. You're like blocking yourself from gaining this. What are you doing, collective? What are you doing? Okay, let's take a look and see. Let's see. Let's clarify the situation a bit. Um, no, I'm on this deck. Okay, what can the collective do? No, let's clarify this real quick. What is this devil energy? What is this devil energy um, for the collective? Okay, yeah, this is definitely a codependent situation. You have the Ten of Wands again, and you also have the Seven of Swords. So, um, you're blocking the situation because you're really not trusting this person. Uh, you don't trust that they are who they are, uh, what kind of person they're claiming to be. You're, you're not believing them. So you're, you're setting your boundaries really high. Um, but you do have the Queen of Wands. So this King of Wands with the Queen of Wands, this could be a soulmate situation that you could be blocking. You could just be setting your expectations way too high for the situation. Um, wow. Yeah, you have the death card again. Well, not again, but you have the devil and the death card. So I feel like... I feel like you think you're done with this person, but I don't think you are. No, I don't think you're done with this person. I don't think you are. If you're open to love, I think that you're going to let this person in. Yeah, definitely. You have the Ace of Cups energy. So, yeah, you, you're, you're kind of... You're fighting with yourself on this situation. With this Death card and this Devil. Um... Maybe you've been really hurt in the past. You've gone through a lot of situations that left you really insecure. Or, um, but I'm, I think, collective, um, this is your wishes and prayers being answered. This is a new beginning coming forward. So I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like you're you're being your own hater. You're being your own blocker here. Why are you blocking your situation? You're protecting yourself. Yeah. You are protecting yourself. Because you don't want to be hurt again. Collective. In order to find love, you have to be open to make the choices. Make those hard choices to love. Definitely, because if you don't, you're going to end up by yourself. If, if you're not open to love, you have to do the work. You have to do the healing. There is love coming through for you, but I feel like you're blocking it. I feel like you're self-sabotaging this situation. Definitely. Yes, that's exactly what you're doing. You're self-sabotaging this situation. Um, interesting. But see, we have the paid, excuse me, we have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So this definitely could be a very healthy, strong new beginning. Um, I think you just need to take a chance. You need to take a risk. Um, collective. Take a risk on love. 
Take a risk. Be open to new love because new love is here. What does the collective need to do in order to in order to get through any challenge or obstacle? What do they need to do in order to unblock this situation uh, so that this new love, this new situation, their prayers and wishes are um, coming to fruition. What do, does the collective need to do? Regrets. I know that I cannot change the past. Exactly. Don't live in the past, collective. Don't live in the, in the past. You can't change it. You can just heal and go through it. Fear, I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, I feel like you're fearful. And I feel like in order to take advantage of love, I feel like you need to jump into it fearlessly in relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay, collective. You know what? Say good things to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Speak spot positivity into your life, collective. Um, don't hold back. Okay, at the bottom, what you don't see is love. You have love here. Love is coming. Um, you just have to be open to receive it. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay, beautiful reading, Collective. This is your next 48 hours. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising um, for full clarity on your situation. And many blessings to you, Collective. Love and light.